What's going on YouTube? My name is NC Squared and welcome back to Season 3 Week 9 of the NPL. Uh, your boy NC Squared, coach of the Litchfield Park Lovatars, is going up against Pterodactyl and we are getting right into it. I actually recorded this beforehand but um, I, I kind of recited the, I guess, re heard the commentary I was doing and it didn't, it didn't seem right so I'm going to redo it again. It's actually Monday, got back from PAX and uh, um, I'm going to show you guys a, a little bit of a vlog and a little bit of a recap of PAX um, and then later video. Maybe it'll go up Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, I got to really grind out that battle or that um, vlog real quick. So I'll have that actually right to you guys right away. Uh, but first, let's get into this battle, the video of this week. The weekend, I should say. Um, we got Nessie and going up against a. Um, believe a a road up heat here i uh i believe i led this because whatever i got intimidate on would have been very very helpful in either way shape or form um i uh what i do here is i double out into my other pokemon which i believe i switch into um i either switch into mandibuzz or i switch into needle queen here but um i felt like a volt switch would have done very a lot of harm to me and i knew it, the the uh, this um rotom heat would have done uh, it would have taken at least half, more than half maybe because it was a fire type, but I don't believe I would have oko this thing. Um, I would have possibly set up a D-Dance here, but I don't believe it was worth it. He switches out and he goes into his Alakazam, his Master Roshi, and he goes. Uh, I go into um, my Nidoqueen there. Um, now I go into Mandibus because I believe a Psychic is going to be coming. And he goes for um, his Mega, which is obviously his Alakazam, and he goes for... Um, his move which is called um yeah it's totally called uh he goes for the trace and he goes for overcoat um and then i go here for just the just the dark type attack get the, and the just get this out of the way he goes for charge beam here which throws me at a loop because i didn't really expect charge beam um uh i i, I kind of th knew he was gonna run psychic um I, I was prepping for uh substitute i knew he was going for substitute a lot um, substitute faded, which is very nice. He goes out and he goes down to Florges. Now I go for the knockoff again, and it's very, very helpful that I get the leftovers off from this thing very, very quickly. I go for another, I go for Toxic on this Dom fan, which is very nice. Um, he has the chance, to, I go for Roost. He goes for knockoff, knocks off my, uh, Rocky Helmet. I do a lot of damage to him back, so that Toxic damage is really coming in handy. Uh, I go for knockoff again to knock off whatever item he's holding, and I obviously hit the floor just again i miss my toxic he goes for aroma therapy kills the toxic on his don fan i finally go for toxic again get the toxic on this um what's it called floor just and he goes for toxic as well to poison my mandibuzz um i go back and i switch out into needle queen he goes for aroma therapy he kills his own team it was a good move on my part he switches to his don fan here and then i go for my stealth rocks um i made sure to speed creep a certain pokemon for to out i may have outsped dawn fan for a certain reason because an earthquake would have okoed my needle queen here but uh i outsped and i go for ice team and i kill the uh dawn fan now he goes on to his alakazam uh tracing sheer force which is really bad play on my part um i go on to mana buzz he goes for a substitute um i stay in with um buzz buzz he goes for charge beam which it does a lot of damage and i no longer can take another hit so i just kind of sack off um mandibuzz at this point to the alakazam actually jk i switch out i go predicting the charge beam i switch on to needle queen uh he goes for shy shock and kills needle queen unfortunately with um needle queen picking up one kill in the season i go for my whimsicott here he switches out and he goes into his real time heat i go for leech seed and i miss my leech seed unfortunately uh, I switch on out here. I go to Amanda Buzz, stacking this thing off. He goes to Volt Switch, so I can get a little bit of priority on this guy. Um, he switches out to his Florges. I knew this was a perfect time to go into Agron. Um, I Mega here, and he goes into Celestia. I go for Ice Punch, thinking, he, or I go for Ice Punch, thinking he would switch into this thing. But Ice Punch does almost nothing to this thing. Um, maybe if I would have brought Thunder Punch, it would have been a better deal. But Ice Punch was also for the Haxorus. It was also for the Dawn fan. Um, it was just a little bit easier to run Ice Punch than other moves. So, I stay out here. Uh, I go for, he goes for the Leech Seed and I go for Thunder Wave. And that Thunder Wave is going to become very, very clutch over the next few turns here. Over the next 30 or so turns. Um, he gets his health back. Easy peasy McSqueezy. And I go on to my Gyarados here to Intimidate drop this thing. He, he's actually a special variant, so an Intimidate didn't really help out here. He goes for Protect. I go for my Dragon Dance. I don't know why you went for Protect there, but I go for a double Dragon Dance. I'm at plus two now. He goes for Air Slash again. 
Um, I go for my waterfall here. I get a crit, thankfully. He goes for his leech seed here to stall me out a little bit. Get some of that great HP back. And I no longer have a knockoff user, so not having a knockoff user was a very bad. Like getting rid of Mandibuzz earlier was very bad. Now that this thing has leftovers and leech seed, he can just protect and get that HP back, no problem. Um, and I go for waterfall here, hopefully to kill again, but I'm now out of range to kill again with um, a waterfall. And he gets paralyzed, which is very thankful. That's one paralysis that he's paralyzed for. I now have 10%. I no longer can live a hit. He's going to go for protect, and he's going to rest up. Or not rest up, uh, heal up a little bit. So I go for type of Lily. He goes for protect. I go for thunderbolt, and he gets protected. I go for another thunderbolt again, predicting it. And he goes onto his floor just maybe to take a really good special attack. He does about 20%, and then I calc the damage Shy Shock kills in the end. Anyways, because I boosted off, um, Shy Shock is obviously based off defense, and floor just doesn't have the best defense. Uh, he goes for overheat here, which is a pretty good play. It puts me down in range to get killed by almost anything on his team. Um, and I go for Shy Shock here, and I kill. But Tabu Lily picks up two kills on the season, which is very, very nice. Um, he goes on to his Braxerus here. Now, I had the chance to either go f into Mega Aggro and predicting the Poison Jab, or because if he is Scarfed, um, he uh, can is Scarfed into a Poison-type move on Aggro and he no longer do anything. But um, I also did fear him switching out, and, or me switching out, and then him going for a D-Dance and sweeping my team at this point because there's no way in hell I'd be able to be a plus one Haxorus. So... Um, I just make the smart move here. I go for Moonblast. I just stay in. Maybe he sets up. Maybe he gets a little greedy. But he does go for Poison Jab here. Kills my Tapu Lele and I go down without a problem. I go into Mega Aggron here. He switches out and he goes for Celesteel. Which makes me think he is still Scarfed at this point. I, um, you'll see what uh, item he later runs. Which kind of puts me at, at ease. Um, I, not at ease but like a little bit I guess scary. Um, he's paralyzed. Uh, so I go for Ice Punch here, and he restores his HP back. I he goes for Protect to get some more HP back. I go for Ice Punch. Uh, this goes on for another few turns until he gets up again. Uh, it gets it back down to 9 HP. He goes for Leech Seed, and now that he is only getting that leftover recovery, he's getting that Leech Seed recovery. Um, he's going to go for Protect here again, I believe. Yes, he does. I go into my Whimsicott here. I'm going to try and get my um, Leech Seed up, but I instead go for Switcheroo because uh, on my... Whimsicott, I am running a um, choice specs to see if I can get on the Haxorus. Because if I get on the Haxorus, the Haxorus is kind of like only switching to one move. And now I have and I have three Pokemon still left over to guess. Uh, I guess um, immune to the Pokemon to the moves of the Pokemon since he has uh, he has Reveal Poison Jab, which is immune to Aggron. He he probably has Earthquake for the Aggron, so Gyarados can come out if he is choice in, or scar or I guess specs into that. And then if he wants to run um, Outrage, I have Whimsicott to counter the Dragon type move. So the only problems here right now are the Mega Alakazam and the Celesteela right now. Um, and I try to go for Switcheroo on it again, but he switches out to his Al Mega Alakazam, uh, bringing the rocks down. He goes for Prankster, and I Switcheroo, and it fails. So I have to switch out here because I am only locked into one move. He goes for Substitute again. Uh, he goes for Charge Beam here. Uh, he does get the plus one, which is kind of sucks. I go for Ice Punch. I break this, the thing. Goes for Charge Beam again. Does about a little bit more damage. Does about 28 this time. And I go for Ice Punch again and kill Master Roshi with Mega Aggro. Okay, get another kill on the season. He goes into his Celesteela. Uh, I switch out here into my Whimsicott. He gets paralyzed one time. I go for my Le uh, He gets paralyzed a second time. And I go for Switcheroo. He is now Specs. I go for Leech Seed. He is paralyzed again. I get some HP back. I switch on to my Mega Aggron to get this HP back. He is paralyzed again. And you guys kind of figure out here he gets hacked the hell out. He goes out into his Braxorus. He's Mold Breaker. And it's very unfortunate that he got paralyzed four turns, maybe five turns in total. Um, I you know, but hey, Pat still played a great game. Um, I'll talk to him a little bit after what I think about those hacks. But um, right now, I'm kind of worried about this I live on 3% with Mega Aggron and right here at this point I believe that he is scarfed um, and I go for the T wave here to slow him down but he is Lumberry so I'm on the fence here like I'm screwed over because I if I would have just went straight for an ice punch I would have killed this thing 100% so 
I switch out of here, I go into Gyarados, get the attack drop, he goes for Earthquake again, and he kills me with Poison Jab. So now I'm at a position where if I go for Whimsicott, I outspeed, I kill with Moonblast. And that is GG to Pat. Um, I know Pat um, told me um, in his video he was very salty, but he was still like, hey, it's, it's cool, it's whatever. It's a game we play. Unfortunately, he did get hacked four times in a row. But it was still a great battle either way. I still honestly believe that if he did not get hacked four times, he would have won this game easy. Um, this just stalling out with Celesteel was a very big problem for me because I didn't really have anything to deal with it. If I had maybe Mandibuzz still left over, I could easily just go for it. The knockoff could take off the leftovers. If I still had maybe Needle Queen, I could go for Stealth Rocks, make that damage come in and out a little bit harder. But I did have Stealth Rocks up, which is very nice. Um, and then I also had Ice Beam on it, which could have put it down. I had Sheer Force. It, it's just like um, the two Pokemon that could have also helped handle Celesteel went down really early so it was really hard to put Celesteela uh, in a position to where it was not a threat on my team so but I just want to thank Pat for an awesome battle we have now it's the second win of the season um, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle please leave a like comment down below and subscribe for me today um, and yeah this is um, I'm actually recording this after PAX East and again you guys will already know you guys will already see a vlog either Tuesday or Wednesday um, depending on um, if I can get the videos uploaded to my computer or not because it's a weird I, I borrowed this camera from my friend It's a weird way to I guess use the camera to upload videos to the to computer So I have to get the instructions from him I'll call him later tonight and get that uploaded and I'm on my grind right now I'm so motivated from PAX East, but you will see a recap after PAX East uh, in the video tomorrow or Wednesday So be tuned for that and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace